If you think you know everything about this world, welcome to our new quiz. It will challenge your wits. We'll give you some statements and you'll have to decide whether they are myth or truth. Make sure to keep track of your correct answers and don't forget to share your results in the end. Here we go. Number one, our cosmos is filled with trash. Myth or fact? Fact. We have the idea that space is just this pristine, untouched wilderness. But that's not exactly true. We've been littering space with our debris for decades. Everything from old satellites to rocket parts. In fact, there are over 20,000 pieces of debris orbiting Earth right now, and they're causing all sorts of problems for future space missions. So if you're planning on visiting space anytime soon, watch where you go. You never know what kind of garbage might be floating around. Oh, the next one seems easy. The sun is yellow. Myth or fact? Surprise, everyone. It's a myth. It's green. Well, kind of. You see, scientists measure the temperature of a star by the color spectrum it emits. Cooler stars appear red, while the hottest of stars look blue. Our sun emits most of its energy at a wavelength that's close to green. But because it emits other wavelengths too, all these colors mix together and your eyes see this vibrant mixture as white. From Earth, however, the sun looks yellow because our atmosphere is really good at scattering blue light. If our star was actually yellow, Earth would become a frozen rock and we'd all be polar bears. The sun isn't on fire for real. Do you think this is true or a myth? True. It's a big ball of gas, mostly made of hydrogen and helium and it works more like a gigantic nuclear reactor, constantly fusing hydrogen atoms to create helium inside its core. This process releases enormous amounts of energy. That's why the sun is so hot. The next one. Spaceships can't actually explode in the cosmos. Myth or fact? Fact. Sorry, Star Wars fans. A spaceship can't go down in a violent blast because there is no air out there in space. No air means no oxygen, and no oxygen means no fire. The number of stars in the sky above Earth is infinite. Myth or fact? Myth. Now, you might also think that there are too many stars in the night sky for you to count, but in fact, you can do that. According to the Yale Bright Star Catalog, there are 9,110 stars that you can see from Earth with the unaided eye. So, technically, you can count them, but I wouldn't be surprised if you lost count. Flying a spaceship through an asteroid belt is very hard and dangerous. Myth or fact? Myth. Although it does have trillions of space rocks that range in size from space dust to a quarter of the size of the moon, they're very spread out. The asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is 140 million miles across, which is one and a half times the distance between Earth and the Sun. This spreads space rocks thousands of miles apart, making it almost impossible for a spacecraft to collide with one. You'll instantly freeze in space without a suit, Myth or fact? Myth. You won't turn into a popsicle right away. It's going to take a bit longer than that because heat and cold don't really move very quickly in the vacuum of space. But unfortunately for you, there's a bigger problem at hand. You won't be able to breathe. Myth or fact? Bad news, it's a fact. After just 15 seconds, your brain won't be getting enough oxygen from your blood and you'll pass out. And then after just two minutes, it's curtains for the rest of your organs. So in short, if you find yourself playing astronaut without a spacesuit, it's game over pretty quickly. 
Did you know that space doesn't have any temperature at all? Myth or fact? Fact. That's because the temperature is defined by the speed at which particles move and the amount of energy they have. In the true vacuum of space, there are no particles to move around, making it temperatureless. Of course, some parts of space are really hot, like areas around stars. But the further away you get from stars, the more spread out particles are, making those areas of space pretty chilly. Our planet is a perfect sphere. Myth or fact? Myth. No, it's not flat, but it's not a perfect sphere either. Yeah, it bulges at the equator because of our planet's wild spin. It's like Earth is doing its own little dance. And because of this bulging, launching spaceships from the equator is much easier than from the poles. In outer space, no one can hear you. Does this sound true to you? Well, that's true. Now, when it comes to sound in space, it's a bit of a tricky situation. You might think that no one can hear you scream, but that's not entirely accurate. The thing is, sound needs something to travel through, like air or water. In space, things are super spread out, so all those epic space battles and galactic explosions would be completely silent. Yet, there are some places in space with enough particles for sound to travel through. For example, you can hear the black hole at the center of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. Gravity in space is equal to zero. Myth or fact? Myth. There's still some gravity hanging around the International Space Station, about 90% of what we feel on good old Earth. But astronauts get to float around because they're basically free-falling around the planet. And let's be real, Hollywood's version of space travel is not factual. Sure, orbits are a thing, but different altitudes mean different speeds. So moving from one orbit to another isn't exactly a walk in the park. You can't just push yourself in the right direction and hope for the best. You gotta take those orbital velocities into account. This reminded me of the 2013 movie Gravity and how Sandra Bullock tried to survive in space. Hollywood sure added some fuel to these myths. Yet again, who can blame them? Back in 1976, NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft snapped a photo of a curious rock formation on Mars that looked suspiciously like a face. Some folks out there claimed that it must have been proof of extraterrestrial life on the Red Planet. Do you think it's true or a myth? For now, it's considered a myth. According to NASA, the face was nothing more than a bunch of rocks piled up in such a way that the shadows they cast created an illusion of facial features. It turns out it was just a regular hill that got a little too much credit for being photogenic. The solar system stays in place. Myth or fact? Lie! It's zooming through space at a speed of 140 miles per second, which means that it's whizzing through the cosmos faster than a cheetah chasing its prey. It takes us 230 million years for the solar system to complete a full orbit around the Milky Way. It's a good thing it isn't getting a speeding ticket because that would be one astronomical fine, eh? Without the sun, planets would be pretty chilly. Myth or fact? Fact. We're talking about temperatures as low as negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit. Brrr. But with the sun around, the planets get to enjoy much more livable temperatures. Of course, not all planets are created equal. Mercury, for example, is the closest to the sun. Venus, on the other hand, is farther away, but somehow manages to be even hotter than Mercury. The distance from the sun isn't the only factor that affects a planet's temperature. Other things like the planet's size and reflectivity also come into play. So Mercury being the hottest planet in our solar system is a false proposition. 
No, just because it's the closest one to the sun doesn't mean it's the hottest. The Bermuda Triangle, that legendary and spooky section of the Atlantic Ocean where dozens of ships and airplanes have disappeared, mainly without any explanation. When preparing for a journey through the Bermuda Triangle, you must pack a compass. True or false? False. You could, but it would be more of a souvenir. The Triangle is one of the only places on our planet where a compass will point to the true north, not the magnetic north. True north is a point on the globe that's stable. Magnetic north is a direction a compass needle shows aligning with the planet's magnetic field. It shifts and changes over time. So if you follow the compass directions in this area, you'll most likely go off course. Christopher Columbus successfully sailed through the Bermuda Triangle. Does it sound real to you? Fact. On his very first voyage to the New World in 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed through the Bermuda Triangle. He reported that one night, while he was on the ship's deck, he noticed a giant light appear in the distance, unlike anything he'd ever seen before. Columbus looked at his compass for direction, which indicated erratic readings. Yep, you know it by now. You'll easily find the Bermuda Triangle on any world map. Hmm, sounds legit to me. What's your take on it? Myth or fact? Nope, you won't. It doesn't appear on any world map because official institutions refuse to acknowledge that the area actually exists. So, if you really want to find it, look in the area between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. There are pyramids on the bottom of the triangle. What do you say? Truth or false? False. Some strange creatures are lying down there at the bottom. Some people claim they look like giant pyramids, but those aren't pyramids at all. It's the so-called Bimini Road. It lies northwest of the shore of the North Bimini Island. It consists of two strange rock formations. Both look suspiciously like building blocks. Research has proven that the underlying ground layers beneath the Bimini Road feature nothing but bedrock with no possible cavities. So these rocks definitely can't be part of a building. The Bermuda Triangle inspired William Shakespeare to write one of his famous plays. Truth or myth? That's a true story. It was the Tempest. The shipwreck in Shakespeare's play is based on a 17th century ship, Sea Venture. The ship was carrying supplies from England to Virginia when a massive storm struck it in the Bermuda Triangle. It had been trying to get out for three days and barely reached the shore. Survivors of the wreck were stranded on a lonely stretch of Bermuda for nine months. Talk about to be or not to be. Sailors returned home to England to tell stories of treacherous waters near the Bahamas where the ships mysteriously disappeared. These stories made it back to the bard himself and inspired his final play about a storm at sea transporting a ship to a mysterious island. Ships try to avoid the triangle at all costs. Do you think it could be true? Not at all. This area is one of the world's most heavily traveled shipping routes. Some skeptics believe that this fact solves the Bermuda Triangle mystery. Hmm, well, maybe they do have a point. The busier the area, the higher the frequency of accidents and disappearances. But then again, it's not the number of disappearances that makes the place so mysterious. It's the lack of explanation and wreckage lost for good. A popular theory says the lost city of Atlantis is hiding in the Bermuda Triangle. Ooh, true or false? That's correct. One of the most popular and bizarre theories trying to solve the Bermuda Triangle mystery comes from Charles Berlitz. He insisted that the area was home to the lost city of Atlantis. Millions of people bought his book, and some have expanded his theory. They believe the mythical city, also pronounced mythical city lying down there, is using some special energy crystals to sink ships and planes. The Bermuda Triangle is home to the deepest point in the world's ocean. Hmm, sounds true to me. What do you say? 
Myth or fact? Well, looks like my intuition has failed me this time. The Bermuda Triangle is home to the deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean, the Milwaukee Deep. The record depth here is over 27,000 feet. It's one of the deepest points on the ocean floor, but it cannot compete with the impressive Challenger Deep at 35,000 feet. That's located in the western Pacific Ocean at the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Well, I still think the Bermuda Triangle is deep enough to explain at least some of the wreckage disappearances. There's more than one Bermuda Triangle in the world. True or false? Well, it's true and false. Of course, the Bermuda one is unique, but there are other places where ships and planes go missing. Alaska, for example, has its own triangle. Since the late 1980s, 16,000 people have disappeared there without a trace. There's no one around to tell us what it felt like. Back in 1950, a plane took off from Anchorage and headed for Great Falls, Montana. It was carrying eight crew members and 36 passengers. Two hours after the flight started, the captain said everything was fine. Then the plane seemed to evaporate into thin air. 85 aircraft and around 7,000 people searched for the plane. No trace was found. Not even a screw, bolt, nada. There's another mysterious triangle in Japan which can swallow entire islands. Myth or fact? Fact. Off the coast of Japan, not far away from Tokyo, there's an area where plenty of ships vanish without a trace. They call it the Dragon's Triangle. There's a really high concentration of methane hydrates on the bottom of the ocean in the Pacific Triangle area. This gas tends to explode whenever the ocean reaches more than 64 degrees Fahrenheit. When it happens, bubbles start forming on the water surface. These gas eruptions can interrupt the ability to float and quickly sink a ship. Because of this chemical reaction, there won't be a trace left. Underwater volcanoes could be another possible explanation for the Japanese Dragon's Triangle. They can take down even small islands. The biggest ship ever to have gone missing in the Triangle was the Titanic. Does it sound legit to you? Nope, you can't blame that one on the Bermuda Triangle, of course. The Titanic had a meeting with an iceberg. The USS Cyclops was the largest ship that ever disappeared in this mysterious area. In March 1918, carrying a crew of 306 people, the USS Cyclops left Barbados and headed home to Baltimore. The ship passed through the Bermuda Triangle on its journey and was never seen again. The Cyclops never issued any distress signal and disappeared without any explanation. No one has ever managed to find any wreckage of it. The magnetic field in the Bermuda Triangle area is weaker than in any other part of the planet. Well, what do you say? This one is true. Astronauts of the International Space Station noticed that. The magnetic field is a shield that protects Earth from solar radiation. Above the triangle, the particles of the sun's rays move faster than in any other part of the planet. This causes unstable work of electronics of satellites flying in the atmosphere of Earth. It doesn't affect ships and planes, though, but it doesn't mean they're safe. The weather in the area is pretty unpredictable and intense. Storms come and go in the blink of an eye. That's probably why pilots don't see the bad weather coming and can't issue a distress signal on time. Alright, it's time to do some math. How many questions did you crack? Feel free to share your score in the comment section. And if you want to level your knowledge even more, hit the subscribe button because we have some videos just for that.